Welcome back to the Cozy Cottage Homestead. Today we're going to be talking about the also popular parsley, most often known as a garnish for all of your favorite dishes and appetizers. But there is way more to parsley than just being a beautiful decorative piece to make your entrees look beautiful. We're going to get into that in just a few minutes. Welcome back to the Cozy Cottage Homestead. Yes, it's been a while and I apologize, but sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it when it's involving your health. Some health issues are just way worse than others and just can set you way back. But thankfully, I'm here. I'm back on the mend. I'm trying to jump back into it. So we're going to talk about parsley today. Some people know parsley as... A lovely garnish and there are many different kinds my favorite is the curly leaf parsley which this is the Italian just the plain parsley but you can actually make herbal teas and tinctures and of course with all of your cooking you can just about add parsley to anything so today I want to talk about the health benefits of the parsley tea and parsley tincture and how wonderfully good it is for you and to your health 100 percent all natural it the tincture draws the properties from the plant and it makes a natural medicine which is how medications used to be made unfortunately we have more modern types of medication and in tons of different types of prescriptions and synthetic medications that tend to cause more health problems than you originally started out with. But with the tinctures, the side effects are very minimum and there's not a lot of other health issues that the tinctures cause. In fact, most tinctures cure a multitude of different elements that you may have. Um, and Pacific tinctures are geared towards certain issues that you have um, that some of the properties are stronger to help you with say with cancer or with ulcers with kidney problems urinary tract problems liver problems but they all usually help a multitude of different things so when you just take a tincture it's helping with a bunch of different things not just specifically whatever your issue is unlike prescription medication it helps one thing and it hurts ten other things do your own research on it um, you'll be surprised for those of you that haven't woke up yet to know about all the prescription medication so today we're going to talk about our parsley um, parsley is very easy to grow you can pretty much grow it year-round if you bring it inside um, I don't tend to do that because I dehydrate it and I use it dry throughout the rest of the year, the season. I don't have enough space in my little small house to have like a window seal that has plants and herbs on it. But um, in the future, I'm going to say in the future, we'll get back to that point. But right now, we're just not at that point. We've had it all before that we made serious sacrifices in order to do what it was that we really wanted that was important to us. So that's just one of the sacrifices that we made was living in a small home until we were able to build the type of home that we wanted. So anyway, let's stay on track. I'm going to have a hard time with that since it's been a little while. I'm going to try my best though, so y'all be patient. Partially is rich in antioxidants, vitamin B, C, E, um, it's also a great source of copper and it's extremely good for iron. It has a lot of iron in it. Potassium, calcium. It also has the B vitamin, which is an essential vitamin B, which is high in folic acid, which we all know if you were pregnant, people need a lot of folic acid. I wouldn't per se drink the tincture, but because it is a warning for pregnant people, 
to be cautious with tinctures because it can cause some other problems with the fetus but you could eat just about as much fresh partially as you want and you would get your daily or more than your daily amount of um, iron and folic acid just by eating fresh partially which is kind of sad we see all those beautiful trays at parties and gatherings no one touches the partially the partially probably was the most healthiest thing on the plate should have grabbed you a couple couple little pieces of it and chew on it also helps freshen your breath so that would be a plus too for an outing so health benefits of the tincture and I'm not going to go into the serving amounts and um, all of that stuff because that is going to be up to each individual and I will read my disclaimer before I make the tincture to go into that if you do have any more personal questions or just questions about tinctures in general you can always email me at my um, email which is cozy cottage homestead I hope I say it right um, I better not even say it because I don't want to look like a fool but I'll put it in the description and put it back in the about on my channel I had taken all that off there for a little while but I'll put it back but you can always email me and some of you can go back and look on the older videos and see the email at the in the description but I'll try to remember to put it so it helps with anemia if you have problems with your sugar um, it's high in iron I think it's one herbal tea a day will give you what you need in your iron supplement per day so if your iron was low you probably would drink more than one cup of tea or probably add some more parsley to your diet helps with urinary tract infection prevents kidney stones helps eye and vision health protects skin against early aging helps prevent chronic illnesses such as cancers not offer offer medical advice i am not a professional herbist professional doctor or medical doctor of any of the sorts I practice folk medicine, natural medicine, that is healing medicine for the purpose of avoiding prescription medication and the high outrageous cost of going to the medical doctor for prescription medicine. I am very frugal and I find that natural medicine works better for me and my family. Um, you'll have to do your own research to find out if that's true for you. If you feel unwell, seek medical professional care in the form of a professional medical doctor or care center. Always do your own research before trying new remedies. And always talk to your doctor if you are planning on taking an herbal tincture, especially if you are on prescription medication or if you are pregnant. Um, some people have a misconception of tinctures. They think they can just take tinctures and take their regular medication. You will be double dosing yourself and overdoing it. Oftentimes, tinctures are more potent than prescription medication if taken correctly. So you have to be careful with that, that you're not just overdrugging yourself because it is natural, actual medication. So I'm just sharing what works for me and my family. I guess I'm one of those wild cards. I'm a little brave. I'll try different things that I think is all natural, biblical based. God has given us all of the things of the earth that are to help us. We just have to go out there and find out what those things are and do our research. But also be aware of all the dangers of some of the herbs in the weeds that are out in the world because they also can be extremely deadly so I would say if you don't have a trusted source or a good bit of information or a, a trusted research there are lots of phony balonies out there you have got to be careful um, I'm going to do my best here on my channel to not share anything that I think would be harmful to anyone because I just think that would be just crazy and wrong I'm just not that kind of person I'm way more loving and caring about helping others than I want to hurt others. So I wouldn't tell you to try anything that I personally wouldn't try. But again, I'm pretty brave. I've been known to try some things that other people just wouldn't even think about, much less try. So let's go ahead and get started on this. I have no idea how long the video was going. I can't see it from here. I'm not going to worry about it. Just going to let it roll. 
The ones that want to be here are going to be here. The ones that aren't, just aren't. So that's just a fact of life. So I had the fresh parsley. Um, you want to give it as much surface. You want to break the break it or cut it to where it has the most exposed sides, I guess you could say, so that you extract all the principles out of the parsley. Um, and it's my understanding that the parsley, and there's a few other herbs can't think of right offhand, that are going to take six weeks to extract all the properties from it. I don't remember what other ones were. I think it's the herbs that are like really thin like this. Now I left my stems on. Some people just simply use the leaves. But the stems also have a lots of good properties in them too. Some people break it up. I'm just going to cut it up with a knife. Yes, my little tiny knife. It works best for me with my hands. Um, just going to put it into a quart size jar. Then we're going to pack it down. We want to get it about three quarters of a way full. Some people do it a half full. You just do what works for you. And depending on how many herbs you have, this is a quart size jar. You might want to use a smaller one just to give it a test run just to see. Yes, I'm dropping partially everywhere. We're supposed to be getting some cool weather coming in. So I figure I better go ahead and I guess I always say, some people say go cut the herbs, but I got to go pull the parsley because it might get frosted. <laughs> I know, I'm so country, it's not even funny. I don't even have to act, I don't pretend. What you see is what you get. I think y'all, mostly y'all know that by now. Just a good old country girl. Sharing a little information with my friends. And one day my grandchildren, once they get older... This will mean something to them then, for sure. They won't mean nothing to them right now. Although I do post some silly videos that they love sometimes. Just because it's fun. Never know what you're going to get. I do a little bit of everything. Alright, so let's go ahead and push this down. And I want to see that it gets about three quarters of a way to half full. But I don't want to smash it and pack it down. And that gave me almost half full. Let's see where am I at? Okay. Um, I have a glare. I can't really see. So I'm going to go just a little bit higher with that just to go ahead and give me a little bit more. And Plus I have it. If I didn't have it, I probably would stop right there. But I'm going to go ahead and go with it just a little bit higher just because I do have it. Either way, I'm going to dehydrate it or put it up or just keep some out for fresh tea. And I think that's going to get it. And you will need 100 proof alcohol. I'm not going to tell you what kind you have to have. If you have an alcoholic in your house, as always, I say maybe you want to make yours with apple cider vinegar. Or the vegetable glycerin. We don't have that problem here. So we don't worry about it. And we just take small amounts of tincture. So it's not like the alcohol is really affecting anything it is simply just used to extract the properties from the herbs and the brand does not matter the important thing is the brand or the type the important thing here is that it's a hundred proof I'm just making sure that that is at least half full even whenever it's packed down a little bit and I think it is, but I'm not comfortable with it. So, sorry. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more. You want to make sure that it's it's good. You don't want to cheat yourself, the properties. Because you're making medicine. So, you don't want it to be some kind of weak little deal. So, I'm going to go ahead and add some more. Because the parsley does just like... It's, it's so light and fluffy, I guess. So, I just want to make sure that I have at least half to two-thirds... I think I said three quarters a while ago, but somewhere up in there. Just to be sure. And by cutting it, it exposes all of the ends and it'll make it easier for the for the alcohol to extract all the properties from the herb. And I think that's where we need to be. 
Sorry, I don't rehearse. I don't practice before I make my videos. I just make them whenever I feel up to it. So let's go ahead and leave that on there. And we're going to fill this all the way up to the neck of the jar. So people fill it all the way to the very top. Um, I tend to go just a little bit lower than that. And of course, don't pay no mind to the brand because I'm not advertising no brand for anything or anybody. I'm just simply using 100% proof alcohol to make my healing tincture. Parsley tincture. And they say it's getting harder to find 100 proof. And I find that to be true as well. Um, unless you have a special like alcohol store or something which I don't really actually feel comfortable busting up in a alcohol store looking for 100 percent 100 proof for our teachers and they kind of look at you like okay what is it who is this lady so sometimes I get my husband to go in and buy it it, it makes him look like the alcoholic not me funny little do they know we don't even drink alcohol and if we do, and we have in the past, who hasn't, right? Um, it would just be left for certain occasions. But we haven't even done that in years. Hadn't seen no need to. Okay, so you want to give it a shake. And you see this is, it looks a lot fuller now that the alcohol is in it. So you just want to give it a shake. And if you can remember and recycled mayonnaise lids I wasn't sure if they were going to fit tight 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 but it fits tight 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 nothing's leaking nothing's dripping so that works better than having to put a metal lid with the um, what is it wax paper or parchment paper always put a label this one this tincture here is going to set for six weeks most of my tinctures set for four weeks one book that I have says four weeks, one book says six weeks, but specifically on the parsley it says six weeks, so I'm going to go with the six weeks, and um, I put the date when I started it, and I will also put the date on my calendar when I started it, and then after the six weeks, I will strain it. And then I will put it in those little tincture bottles that are amber colored. You can buy those on at Amazon or just a dark colored glass. And um, I have shelving in here. I don't really have like a pantry. I have shelving. So it's not really that dark. So I will put foil over this and completely cover it. And then I will leave it setting right here on my counter. So every day when I'm over here cooking or whatever, I can remember to give it a good shake to make sure that it's extracting all of those wonderful properties out of the parsley. So um, I have a pretty good bit left. This to make me a glass of parsley tea. I can see that fixing to happen. Um, again, very simple, very easy to make. I think everyone should have a, a good medicine supply on hand whether it be the form of tinctures or whatever type of medication you do have to take. And I do have to say I'm not prejudiced or conceited against those that have to take prescription medication. I know there comes a time, and even myself have facing a time, where you have to take prescription medication because there are just certain things that you can't just get from natural medicine or an herb. Like, for example, with my thyroid issue, I'm probably going to have to be on some kind of thyroid medication, and I'm going to try to find the most naturalist form of that that I can possibly find. So I'm not really saying it's bad. I'm just saying that you have to be on it. It's bad that there are lots of side effects to synthetic medicine, and that's the part that bugs me. It doesn't bug me that people have to take prescription medicine. I know that we have to take certain things for certain elements that happen that we have no control over. So just want to clear that up. I'm not against it. I'm not not that kind of person at all. I think it's great that people take care of themselves and, and we all just have to do the best we can. And for me personally, the natural medicine seems to work the best. But like I said, I'm knocking on that door of possibly losing the other side of my thyroid. It's been giving me lots of trouble. And then I know what that means. I will be on medication for the rest of my life. 
So all I can do is the best I can and fix what I can and don't worry about what I can and pray and leave it to God and He is going to take care of it. There's no need for us to worry about things that we have no control over. So thanks for joining me today. Sorry if I went off a little bit on this, that, and the other. It's been a little while and of course I like to talk. I should probably just do a talking video. Um, hope I didn't get too far off track. But I want to just get this parsley done, get it out there, and share it with you. Because if it just helps one person, and one person set, decides, oh, I'm going to look into tinctures, then you know what? I did my job. I got someone to think about natural medicine. And if it helps them, then they, they do whatever they want that in their private home, in their private medicine cabinet, learn how to make tinctures, and it helps their family that's great for them. That's one less person that is spending tons and thousands of dollars on prescription medication that may simply be able to be helped with just a simple little natural tincture. So thanks for joining me today and farewell homestead family, friends, and neighbors from the Cozy Cottage Homestead.